welcome back. Today we are going to be reading a story together. So I've chosen Jack and the incredibly mean stork. Here's the picture over here at the front. Once there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mum in a tiny flat and he believed in magic. One day Jack sold the television in return for some magic beans. Jack's mum was so angry that she tossed the beans out of the window. Before long something below began to rumble. What is it? said Mum. An earthquake? suggested Jack. Jack and his mum ran outside just as little green shoot burst from the earth. The little shoot became a thin stem and the thin stem became a chunky stalk. A crowd began to gather nearby. Fee! said the stalk. Bye! it cried rolling taller still. Bo bum! it yelled so everyone could hear. I smell a boy and his stinky mum. Jack's mum immediately scuttled home to take a bath. That was a bit unkind, said Jack to the beanstalk. Well, it replied, I'm not any old beanstalk. I'm an incredibly mean stalk. And I plan to live up to my name. Do you know what else I can smell? What? asked Jack. Your whiffy feet. The crowd laughed and Jack blushed. Luckily for me, said the mean stork, I'll be growing high and higher, far away from your festering toes. Jack felt miserable. He sat with his mum, looking at the space where the TV used to be. He was disappointed that his magic beans had created such a monster. Meanwhile, the mean stork grew up and up. Oh, Jack, it teased. It's beautiful up here. What a shame. I'm the only one tall enough to see it. You could let me climb up, said Jack. Never, replied the mean stork, and it carried on growing. One day, the stork spotted a giant's castle nestling in the clouds. Fee, fi, fo, fum, roared the mean stork. I detect pops from a giant's bum. The castle's drawbridge creaked and lowered, and a giant appeared. Please don't be mean, he said bashfully. It's ever so lonely up here and I'm entirely friendless. Might you be my friend? Soon, the mean stock grew so tall that it soared through the Earth's atmosphere and burst into space. Fee, fi, fo, fum, it cried. Now I'll have some real fun. The mean stock floated around, drifting between the stars and planets. After a few days of floating and drifting, the stork realised how quiet it was. Suddenly, it felt very, very alone. What am I doing up here, he thought, sadly. The mean stalk wound its body down and down, round and round, back to earth. It saw how happy everyone was. They haven't missed me at all, thought the mean stalk. I'm useless. Being mean is useless. The mean stalk nudged its head through Jack's window. Jack, it said to you, Philly. I want to stop being mean, but I don't know how. I have a few ideas, said Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. You must be the giant. Whee! So helpful. Very useful indeed. Thank you, mean stock. Wait a minute, said Jack. We can't call you mean stock anymore. You're kind and helpful and extremely useful. What shall we call you instead? Hmm, said the not mean at all stork, thinking carefully. I quite like the name Stanley. Very well, said Jack. Thank you, Stanley. So Jack and the giant Stanley and everyone else lived together happily, and Stanley never called anyone stinky again. Right, and that's the end. Right, hopefully you enjoyed that story. Bye, Mary Curie.